Welcome back to Focus on the Mix with Denise Ames. I want to welcome a very, very special guest that we have for a short segment today. He was nice enough to come on our show. This is the author of Metallica and Philosophy, A Crash Course in Brain Surgery. We have the author here, William Irwin. And before I uh, show you, well, there you are. They just put you on camera. So let me Let me read um, a quick quote from Anthrax's guitarist, Scott Ian, about this book. He says, this is the most illuminating dissertation on Metallica ever written and a kick-ass read to boot. So there you go. So tell us, uh, William, why did you choose Metallica and philosophy and reading, writing about this together? Well, th thanks for asking, Denise. Metallica, I would say, is the thinking man's metal band. Uh, Hetfield's lyrics are rock poetry, I would mm -hmm. say, rivaling Dylan and the Doors and in my estimation, surpassing, say, the Beatles or U2 in philosophical significance. Mm -hmm. And so they deserve serious attention, and that's what this book gives them. And you know what, I want to mention that the reason why you're into philosophy is because you just happen to be a, a professor of philosophy at King's College. And I also want to tell the audience that you are also a uh, New York Times best-selling author. For, what was the book that you were on that list for? Well, The, the Matrix and Philosophy, a similar kind of book. Okay. So why did you choose, I mean, it's obvious philosophy, but why a heavy metal band? Well, the, the combination is jarring, right? People mm -hmm. don't expect it. Uh, and philosophy's had a bad public relations problem for a couple of centuries now, and, and metal has too. People don't realize that there's a lot of thought behind it, and I think uh, Metallica really helps defy mm -hmm. the stereotype of the knuckle-dragging Neanderthal. Mm -hmm. uh, there's really uh, sensitive and, uh, and deep thought put into the lyrics. Yeah, and actually in this book, um, you map out connections between great philosophers way back in the day, back to, let's give an example, Aristotle. That's right, Denise. Uh, so the idea is not just to show that there's depth to Metallica, but also to teach a little philosophy along the way. Uh, and so, for example, Aristotle helps us to make sense of some of the anger and violence that's typically associated with metal and Metallica in particular. People worry, and perhaps rightly so, that uh, music like Metallica's uh, will encourage violence, will encourage uh, acting out on anger. But Aristotle's theory of tragedy, which is that of catharsis, will relieve our negative emotions, applies just as well to Metallica's music as well. I would argue that having listened to Metallica, we're actually less likely to act out on anger or violence because we've discharged our anger and our frustration. You are actually credited by a lot of people that you predicted James Hetfield's attendance at a lecture given by the Dalai Lama. Well, I don't have a crystal ball and I didn't predict that exactly, but yeah, uh, the internet has been kind to me on, on that score. What I did predict is that Hetfield would move towards uh, Buddhism. And what I see beginning to emerge on the Load albums and on St. Anger, and which I predicted uh, would continue on the next album, is the emergence of Buddhist virtues, most notably compassion and helping others overcoming suffering. And go ahead and tell our viewers how they can contact you and or order this book. Wonderful. I love to hear from people. I have a MySpace page, myspace.com slash William Irwin. My email address, which I'd also welcome hearing from people through, is wtirwin at kings.edu. The book, of course, is available on Amazon.com, Barnes & Noble, Borders. And if you don't like going into bookstores, Hot Topic, which is a pretty cool store, is carrying it as well. Well, thank you so much, William, for joining us today. Thanks so much, Denise.